Okay, part two. We literally are just picking off where we left off like uh, yesterday, aka two seconds ago for me in real life because I'm just gonna post these one day apart from each other. Uh, it's 3 3 right now, and we are just watching the VOD review of this uh, gameplay. So, nothing crazy here. Well, maybe Rex could have left us for Crunk. I'm gonna go ahead and look at my two teammates real quick, see what's going on. Rex touches it, keeps it in. I mean, this is just normal stuff. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. Good positioning here. I wish, all right, that's, is that going to be a goal? Yeah, it's going to be a goal. I wish, Um, I felt like that was, a, like, a, that should have been, like, a free ball to hit. Um, The flip there, like, wasn't bad, but like, I just feel like this is, like, a mechanical thing. If you double jump off the wall and just point your car, like, at it instead of, uh, like flipping, would you say laterally? Is that the right word? Like if you just double jump off the wall and like go for the ball normally, I guess is the best way I can put that. You're definitely hitting that with the amount of boost you had and I'm middle with 100 boost. So that was frustrating. I was, yeah, the AFK stall just showed my like body language there perfectly. I, I've just felt like that definitely should have been touched and I would have had like a good opportunity for a, uh, uh, like a little one-two passing play on net because that definitely was the right play from Krunk. Definitely was the right play. Ethan's out, Tyro's out, and the kid who's back is kind of isolated. And yeah, so yeah, just I don't know, free play kind of thing, I guess. Who knows? So we got four three, and things are getting pretty sloppy. But that's all, G. Got a hundred boosts here. Let's see how I play this. I go for it. Not the best challenge, but okay. This was the tilter play, from uh, what I recall. I didn't see what happened, but we're gonna take a look at this for a sec. Um, so I go for the ball first. Ball goes into our corner. Ethan can't really score, and he may might be able to if he's cracked like that, but he does not. Let's take a look from Rex's POV as well, so I can make my final verdict. I don't think that's a good ball to go for. I think, um, like, you have 72 boosts. I think just padding back, literally filling up on 100 or something like that would be the best play. And just going, like, back post or mid. Um, I feel like the best way to go over this is to go into the fly camera. I think both Rex and Kron could have done something. Well, first off, I guess we can cover my thing. My challenge wasn't the best in the world. Uh, it, it was hard to get a good challenge there. I mean, Tub stayed in the ball pretty pretty well, I'd say. Um, but I feel like this is like the main the main issue of the play. So okay, Rex is right in front of us on our screen. Hundred boosts as we saw. I feel like this is like a good ball for Ethan to go for, but like that's a ball like we should just let him go for. I think if Rex just kind of drives here, like starts to rotate, or just like looks back at the net then he would be here for like the pass like cutting the pass so ethan hits it off the corner and then rex is here to hit this ball and keep it in our corner if that makes sense so i'm going to play this in full motion um hopefully we'll see it happen any second there's my challenge all right so rex would be right here and then cutting the passing lane before tub gets to it Keeping it in our corner. I know it's very hard for me to uh, describe without, like, I don't know, without the play happening itself. But I feel like that would have been a good play from Rex. Because the ball he went for, I mean, it just took him out of the play. Uh, it didn't get the block on the play. And even getting the block on the play doesn't, like, I mean, I guess, yeah, it would have helped. Krunk probably would have had an easier time dealing with it. But uh, it, it just could have been so much easier, like, much, like, easily avoided if uh, we just were more patient. Crunk in the net, though, I think this ball should never be beaten to if I'm Crunk. I feel like if I'm Crunk here, 100 boost. Um, yeah, you got to respect this doubler. I understand that. But I think that that ball, should you should never be getting beaten to. And yeah, your front post, you're probably scratching your head, like, why is this happening? I think, like, let's see. So you have good boost. I think, like, okay, right here, you're, like, indecisive almost, it seems to me. You're doing like the Rex thing I just said, where you could look at your own net and wait for the touch off the backboard, and then you would go for this ball right here. 
but like and then you go front post and then you come back out so you, you know what i'm saying like it, it's it's like you're indecisive like you could either stay right here where you are and wait for the touch of the backboard or you can get deep in your net which i feel like i would have done in this situation um sorry okay i would have gone like right here maybe and off of this I would have started like creeping up like right here. Okay, Ethan my other touch, he doesn't. And then I would have like tried to go for the tub block. And yeah, the, the ball ends up going to the one place like Tub can shoot from the angle he's approaching the ball at. Uh so hold on, I'm just watching it one more time. Yeah. I mean so you you back post with it, or one of you, you or Rex, are just like right here with it. Uh I definitely think both of you should have done something differently on this play. I think Rex taking himself out and Krunk just not defending well was, uh, like, could have been avoided better. I'm sorry if I'm sounding like a prick, too. I'm just going over the replay with, like, as objectively as possible. Is that the word? Um, so, yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't a pretty game by, like, anyone by any means. So, I'll, I'll try to approve, you know what I mean? Good stuff right here great stuff great positioning i like the touch from rex i don't mind that even though they do get the ball uh, as long as he's there and making a play on it i mean that's all i can really ask for it's not what he could have done anyways you know decent challenge kind of a 50. I'm surprised uh i don't know if crunk could have been in this um i feel like a, a lot of the time i don't know if this happened already and i covered it in the last video but like we, we were, like, pushed up a super lot on some of these plays. Like, this wasn't a great example of it. But I guess Krunk just mis misread that, maybe. And he, like, started boosting late. I don't know. But just Tyro just smoked him to the ball. Uh, but, like, maybe waiting at the, like, more left and behind me instead of, like, where Krunk is. You, you, you would have a better approach to the ball, I feel like. Because we, we lose pressure off of that, technically. But, I mean, they're passing to us now. Krunk's going for a demo on zero boost. Rex is dead. This is not looking good. Tub is air dribbling. Okay, we're, we're going to rewind. Yeah, that's just in, in my net. <laughs> um, Okay. Let's take it back. So that ball should have probably been kept in. Maybe. Rex going for it. I love it. I love it. This is good. This is a free play for Feenster. 100 boost. And I don't mind this. I don't mind going for the backboard here. If I do this, though, I think I got to be way quicker because Tuff just is able to get right back up and block it. Um, I just got to literally hit it while boosting into it because I stopped boosting as soon as I hit it. But, like, if I hit that with more power then I think I could get it to the backboard without Tuff getting there. Or just hitting it higher off the backboard is what I mean. Um, going for the bump there, Kronk with zero boost, I don't know if I like that much. I don't know if it affects the play that that much at all because they're already awkward. If they were, like, standing in net and it was the last person back, yeah, it'd probably be different, but I, I just felt like it wasn't useful in that play. I wish Kronk would, was getting, like, pads instead or the mid boost or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I, I could have maybe... I could have um, gone for something different there. Like, higher off the backboard, I think I said. Uh, sorry, fuck. I'm just literally looking around. The demo is just unlucky. Maybe hit right stick to look behind you. That's my only suggestion. I mean, that's obviously not the most obvious thing. Because who's thinking about a kid literally coming from behind a demo you, right? Because that should be happening to me. But... Literally my only tip in that situation. But this, I feel like, should have been, could have been defended as well. It, it wasn't a bad dribble from Tov. Great solo play from him. The air dribble is very underrated to defend. You have so many options coming out of it. Uh, me coming back on zero boost. I guess I have some boost at the end after my double t double tap attempt. And, and me, cr me and Kronk are coming back with, like, zero boost. Because I know Kronk was just in their net. And then I just went for the play. And then Rex was just demoed. So, yeah. All three of us really got taken out of the play. And, I mean, I feel like I was a little justified because I went for my ball. Um, and may maybe Rex was too because of the demo. But maybe Krunk should have just waited back, grabbed pads, grabbed boost, and we would have been a little more prepared for that play. Uh, 
We're going to the Rex POV. Good challenge. Huge challenge. Look, this is so, something so simple and so beautiful. And he saves the rest of his boost too. But that gets me a free ball. 100 boost, I take control of it. And look, Rex stays there and uses the rest of his boost. It's like I knew to spectate him. My goodness. Um, their defense was pretty dog shit. No cap. Tyro should have just... He tries to like hover and 50 the ball on my car. But he should have just let Tub go, I feel like. Like, if Tyro just starts rotating back and lets Tub go for the ball, like, with confidence, then uh, they would have defended that well. But good play out of us. We we capitalized on their weird situation. And, yeah. That was a good, like, two-man play. Here comes Krunk. This, this might be the best play of the game. Why don't we do this all the time? Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Like, we're, we're trying to do too much of the ball when we're just... Like, dude, this is like free play, bro. 100 boost. Keeps it close. Uses the back of the car. Fucking bumps the kid at the end. They can't do anything about any of this. Except, Ethan could have flipped this. Like, flipped into the... Flipped into the ball, into the corner. Jesus, I can't speak. Um, Like, he definitely could have prevented it if he flips, like, left. Right? But he just, you know, stands there and tries to control it. Which is, like, natural. Right? People want to dribble the ball, take their time with it, blah, 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 get a good play with it. But, uh, I mean, Krunk's not directly passing to me, infield passing or whatever, forcing something stupid. So, and he goes solo and beats like two people. That's literally like a good twos play, good threes play, good everything play. So really good job there. That's arguably like the best play of this whole game. So, yeah, it's just taking our time, thinking about it and uh, whatever. So Rex to me. Um, nothing comes out of it. Let's see uh, my POV real quick. It was a good, good pass out from Rex though, and me going for a good speed. May I? I could have tried to like maybe dunk there. I don't know if Tough was any good. He he would get that ball around me like ten times out of ten. Uh, I guess I had to hit that because Tyro was back flipping into it, and I couldn't really weigh on that ball either because Krunk's behind me. So I feel like Krunk. Should have had, like, a touch here. But this is, like, kind of an example of what I'm talking about. This also isn't, like, the best one out of the ones I've seen in the other replays I've seen. But it definitely does work here. Because, look, Tov has a free ball. From the point I hit the ball and I make contact with it, Kron should be thinking, okay, this is theirs. They can literally do anything with this. And the way Tov's looking at this ball right now, he should be thinking, okay, Tov could boom this. He could boom it, he could dribble it, but if he dribbles it, then Feenster and Rex have it. But if he booms it, I have to cover this. So therefore, I feel like therefore, with my 100 boost, the best play is to be like right in this area. So he hits it, and he hits it, okay, like right here. So, I mean, we still would be here for this ball, and then we could do like something with it from there. Um, it, this wasn't like, once again, the greatest example of all time. But I just feel like since we're all so pushed up here, uh, maybe, maybe we're thinking also like, okay, seven seconds left. We got to get in their fucking net. Um, but I just feel like, you know, maybe for a regular game, uh, e even in this instance too, I, I just feel like being back and ready for this ball would be better. We, we are first to it still, but now we can't get a good touch. It looks like, and they could start getting pressure here. Good speed from the Feenster though. Good speed from the crunk. Look at us coming alive in these last couple seconds. We're actually going to get that though. Uh, Tyro did a good job, I think that was on the backboard. Yeah, Tyro. Uh, just downing it and whatnot. But, we had already beat ourselves by that point. Um, 6-5. I mean, if you're getting scored on six times, then you deserve to lose, by all means. So, I, I mean, we all could have done shit better. And, uh, yeah. They went 5-6, or 4-5-6. They went 6-4-10. Six, 6-10 four, six for ten is just god-awful, but congrats to the other team. They did go on to qualify for the next day. And we went 3 for 5. Uh, 5 for 13. So 5 for 13 and 6 for 10. So not good defense by either one of these like rank B level teams, I would call this. And yeah, lots to learn and lots to improve on by all six players in this lobby. I hope you enjoy these videos, and I hope even if you aren't this rank, or you're above this rank, or whatever, you just enjoyed this for educational purposes. I like looking at stuff like that. 
like this and seeing what we could have done better. Um, you know, it's painful at the moment or whatever. Just kind of annoying that we lose games like this when, you know, we know we could play our best or we could play better than the other team. But it's whatever. It's all just a game at the end of the day, right? All right. Love you all. Have a great day. Peace.